Hi everyone, welcome to sketching. Today we're on day 24 of my sketching challenge. I'm going to be drawing today a pomegranate which I found in the fridge. I think it was my brother's so I quickly nicked it and took a quick little uh, picture of it and I thought yep let's start drawing this. Um, very interesting shape and uh, colours so I thought yeah I, I thought this will be a good one. Um, yeah so today I'm also using some new brushes today. I'm using um, the, the set in the charcoal set in Procreate. Uh, I've used these brushes previously before I had my iPad Pro and I used to really really enjoy the uh, textures and the kind of like you know the effects that you could get with this brush. I've also used uh, charcoal in traditional work that um, that I've done uh, in the past and I've really enjoyed doing it however when you're using charcoal in traditional traditional uh, art it, it is very very messy so if you do want to do this kind of drawing using traditional material I've got to give you a heads up on make sure you've got a nice clear table before you start. Uh, but the advantage of digital is you're drawing in charcoal and there's no mess, so it's uh, happy days. So yes, yeah, so again, all I'm doing uh, today is I'm just blocking out the um, uh, the colour of the um, of the basic shape with a nice sharp colour. So not really a mid tone, but more of a kind of a flat sharp colour, uh, uh, which was a red uh, with the charcoal brush, um, just to kind of create the outline and the the, the composition of the um, of the piece. And um, and then basically all I was doing on top of that was just adding uh, more colour uh, gradient, so adding a lighter orange uh, and and a bit darker red and a slight grey to kind of add the uh, kind of mid tones and kind of some of the shades and the highlighted um, areas of the actual colour itself. Um, and yeah, it worked out really nice this because uh, with the uh, with the charcoal brushes that you get in Procreate and the Apple pencil, you've got that uh, kind of you know you got that pressure sensitivity, haven't you? So the lighter touch you you produce, the the lighter the um, the kind of mark is on the um, on the uh, on the image. So uh, so it worked out really really well, uh, and you can quickly come up with something quite good, uh, uh, you know, in a, in a short amount of time. Um, I think this drawing only took me around about 35 minutes and I think the overall effect was so so good it, that I, th I thought you know what I'm gonna probably do a lot more of this using charcoal uh, I didn't actually think it was gonna uh, work out so well I mean it's not a finished uh, drawing by no means uh, but the, the the actual end result was quite you know it was quite vibrant and you know striking if you like especially if you ha look at it for the first time you might even you know f think that it's oh it's it's actually not been done digitally uh but yeah I, I was really really pleased with this i think this is one of my favorite ones now um from the uh, sketch challenge and i think i'm going to tackle this one in 2018 uh where i'll do a really really in-depth drawing of this and go in with a lot of detail uh, so i'm quite excited about that one uh so definitely try this one if you're um uh, if you started the challenge you know just um try this uh, drawing because uh, the image that I've got here I've really really increased the exposure on it so that we have some sharp colors and gradients uh, to kind of you know really guide you to kind of you know what colors uh, to use and that helps me uh, I mean I've probably mentioned this before in a couple of other videos but if you kind of like if you look at your object that you're about to draw and squint your eyes you, you get like this blurry vision and what that does is it tends to uh, kind of block out the colors uh, the gradients that you've got in that composition where you wouldn't really be able to see them if you looked at it you know with full vision and that really helps to map out the the colors and I, I use that technique a lot I mean I'm short-sighted again I've mentioned this before I'm short-sighted so for me it's really easy I just take my glasses off and I can it's just a blur and I can kind of quickly map out the colors um, uh, on the on the objects that I'm drawing so yeah so all I'm doing here is with the uh, same brush I'm just gone in with a black and I'm just kind of drawing in these dark uh, textures that, that you can see on the image um, and, and it worked really really well I mean with the charcoal brush you've got to be careful with the charcoal brush that you've got to reduce the, the head size of it quite low if you want to do detailed work because it is quite a big head size um, and what I did was I reduced it pretty much right to the bottom 
and lower the opacity to more than half uh, of the opacity, so around about, I'd say, 40%. And then I started working in these details, and I think that really helps to kind of tone in and, you know, narrow down them uh, the, the brush so it's, it's more usable. Um, so, yeah, so I, th I thought it was brilliant, the uh, the brush set on, on, on the charcoal set. I mean, I've not used all of them. I think I've only maybe only used one or two. Um, and I, th I thought, yeah, I, th I thought that I could do some really nice pieces with this um, because it's just so easy, isn't it? Um, I might later on in 2018, I might when I do my traditional uh, material reviews and, you know, a couple of sample drawings that I do, I might actually do some charcoal drawing. I mean, you can get charcoal in sticks, um, you can get them in coloured pencils, you can get a whole range of uh, materials which I'll review uh, in 2018. So yeah, so I hope I hope you're uh, really trying out this challenge. Uh, I mean, you learn something new every day. It doesn't matter how much experience you've got as an artist, whether you you know you've got twenty years experience or twenty days experience, or whether you're completely new, you will definitely learn something new every single day. So you know, if you've got a digital tablet or a digital device, and you've you know most digital tablets come with uh, some sort of paint drawing package uh, software app. Go and give give this uh, thirty day challenge a go on it. And if you if you don't want to do the digital way, then just get, get you grab yourself a pen and paper, piece of paper, pencil, whatever you got lying around, and start drawing. Do thirty drawings every single day, and you'll see this kind of collective um, skills of yours building up and really kind of motivating you um, towards like you know really refining your skill set. And it will help. I mean, we'll, when I come to the review stage of these drawings, I, what I'll probably do is I'll probably pick out maybe the, my top five drawings that I've done in this and review them uh, at the end and maybe do like a long couple of hour drawing on, you know, a serious drawing and then sit down and go through the different steps that I did um, to, to get to the result that I got. But anyway, coming back to this drawing here, so all I'm doing now is I've just had it, added in the highlights and I used... Um, um, the normal pencil for this, uh, I think it was a technical pencil or a uh, 6B pencil to just like bring out some of the lights, lights from this uh, composition and it worked out really nice I think. Um, uh, on on a pomegranate, I don't know if you've ever seen a prom pomegranate. You obviously, you probably have. But you, the outer skin is is very kind of textured. There's like all sorts of lines and dots all over it. So I think it's a great um, kind of fruit to draw. Uh, the inside of a pomegranate is even better. But the, on this challenge, to draw the inside, it requires a lot of time and detail. So I think what I might do is on after in the 2018 when I do a longer version of this, I might draw the inside of this as well, like a kind of. Like like a mid, a, you know, a slice of uh, pomegranate. So all I'm doing now is uh, just adding in the standard shadow, drop shadow that I got, and it was a pretty decent drop shadow because you had a nice bit of shape of the kind of like them top ends sticking out from the right hand side. So it looked really good, I think. I went in really, really hard with the black, and then just lowered the opacity down to make it look a lot more even and uniform. And I thought the effect was pretty good. And now all I'm doing is I'm just doing the outline of the shape with the technical pencil um, and just, you know, with a standard black, really, really light, not too heavy, um, just to kind of, you know, refine those edges and make it a little bit more crisp. Um, and, and yeah, so I, I was really, really happy with the uh, overall result on this one. Um, and, and again, I was surprised that with these brushes available in Procreate, you can come up with such a, you know, a half decent result so quickly. So really give this one a try. Use these brushes if you haven't used them before. And I think you will um, find them very, very good. Um, and all I'm doing now is I'm just creating some more texture on these like little um, parts that are sticking out from the top. Um, these like little pyramid -y shapes. And uh, just to kind of add more detail to the uh, to the drawing. And now all I'm doing is my uh, kind of hatching, cross hatching uh, around the shape of the fruit to really, really bring out that you know third dimension on it, um, and you know to really give it that illustrative uh, feel, uh, which is kind of what I usually go for. Um, so yeah, so it worked out really, really nice this one. Uh, I mean, currently I'm uh, I'm working on a couple of projects uh, on the traditional side and also on the digital. 
digital i'm working on uh, my landscape drawing that i did so if you haven't already seen that do check that out uh, it was a couple of uh, a couple of days ago maybe a week ago i can't remember but it was uh, within this kind of time frame that i had um and i haven't really started working on the second part of that yet but i will do hopefully in 2018 it's just that when you have a new tool and you want to try different things out you just get so excited well i do anyway i get so excited about uh, trying out different brushes wanting to draw in different ways it just kind of overtakes everything and you just don't have that many hours in the day uh, so yeah so all i'm doing here is just adding in some darks with the airbrush and some lights again with the airbrush and then going in with the studio pen uh, from the inking brush set to use some cross hatching to really bring out some highlights to the uh, to the overall form of the image um, and again just using some random lines because if you I mean you probably you can't see this on the little thumbnail picture that I've got here but you've got a lot of lines random lines on this um, on the surface of this fruit uh, it's, it's an amazing fruit actually I you could even call it a heavenly fruit <laughs> but it's uh, it really is quite amazing the you know the shape of this fruit and then the color and texture that you get on the outside skin um and also on the ins the inside is just gorgeous it's like you get these little pearls of uh, jewels that are just bursting with <laughs> flavor anyway um coming back to the end of this uh, yeah so all i did was just added in the highlights uh, so i went in with a slight orange color to kind of use that studio pen effect on um just to kind of slowly blend this in and kind of bring the overall composition together and yeah, I really enjoyed this one. I actually really, really enjoyed drawing this one. Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for your um, support. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and please also consider subscribing to the channel for more content. And I hope you have a good one. So take care of yourself, keep sketching and peace.